tuning in to this edition of the Smart Alex. Smart Alex. Smart Alex. That's a tough word to say. Uh, especially when you're a couple of IPAs. But nonetheless, I am your host this week. I am the smartest of all Smart Alex. I'm John. And we have a very distinguished panel this week. I'm very happy to have these gentlemen here. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Well, we're going to open up with this gentleman <laughs> for, because of that. Uh, he is dog. I definitely understand. And um, on this side of me, I have Rodney B. Belcher. What's up, y'all? Belcher Rod. Follow me on inner, inner Twitter. Inner Twitter. Inner Twitter. Inner Twitter and Instagram at KOG Rod. It should be down there. So Inner Inner Twitter. Inner Inner Twitter. Okay, that's the new social media site. And right here, we couldn't have a panel without my man Jace. How you feel this week? Oh, that's man? new. Yeah, I'm pointing at uh, out, get everything because my, my name is long. Do with the beard. Do with the beard. We should put it down. Oh, okay. That's your Instagram. Yeah. Um, and Twitter, apparently, you not answered the question of how you feel today. <laughs> just give me an Instagram. So he's feeling real Instagram me this week. <laughs> So, uh, I guess my name's going to be down here, Handsome John 35 That's where you can get us at. We got a very deep, deep topic. I want you guys to you know, jump in this. There's a hashtag going around. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? To, to stop the music of one of our uh, most endeared artists. Who? Uh, his name would be R. Kelly. It's called Mute R. Kelly. Hashtag Mute R. Kelly. And it's to, you know, silence his catalog because of the allegations that's against him because he allegedly has a, um, for lack of a better term, I like to say sex den. Ranch. Sex ranch, playpen. Playpen. Sex playpen. Playpen sounds ah, a little childish. Se sex <clears throat> rumpus room. I'll give it to you. Right, that may or may not contain underage women. And I think that. Wait, hold on, hold on. So would you? Right. Well, so because I'm, of that, would you not play his music? I don't. You know, I I understand we all are against you know sex with underage women. You know, we all stand on the on 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 the correct side. Word, of the word, 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 word. But word. but you know, to dig deeper into the point, are you gonna stop playing Twelve Play? Are you gonna stop playing Bump and Grind? Now that you know he wrote Bump and Grind. Thinking about kids. With a with a he may or may not have been thinking about bump and grind with a teenage girl. I don't think that line. deep into it though. I don't, I don't fucking think I, I don't think that deep into it. I usually it's don't. A, it's a fucking good song. It's okay. been a, it's been a good song for damn near twenty years. And he's had these allegations for damn near fifteen. Okay. What do you mean okay? That's not okay. That's but when I thing. hear bump like, and grind, I don't think about pedophilia. I think about this is a good song. I done fucked a couple bitches to this song. I bet you they and won't they, want they to fuck were to it age. anymore. Huh? I bet you they won't want to fuck to it anymore. Oh, I'm gonna see. That's a good that's a that's a good check it out. Next time everybody, next time, let's see. Next time you are getting to the end, you're trying to set the mood, put on some R. Kelly, see what your girl does. I would like to see that. And comment. You find if the, within this week. You try it out. I wouldn't you play Bump and Grind. That's not. No, no, whatever. Your favorite R. Kelly song. No, your favorite it. R. Kelly song. Not Bump and Grind. Any song you want to play by R. Kelly. What song would you play by? I mean, because you, you Me younger, you're younger. You have a younger generation. I like uh, my, my favorite R. Kelly song. I like uh, uh, off of one of his newer album. Not newer, newer, but Boy, what song is it? Uh, uh, Touching. I think it's called Touching. It was well, TP3 Reloaded. TP3. Okay. Yeah, that's all right. That's like borderline before he got like. like Feeling like your booty was like great. Oh, oh. TP. I mean, twelve play. I didn't get into. Twelve play was fire. Was little, I was. I was what? That came out of what? Ninety. The R. Kelly album was fire. That's what well, man. From 90 I remember. That's, that was I mean, like. I, only hit I mean, 10, Chocolate so. Factory to me was R. Kelly's best album. But like twelve play was like the the I like the, the soundtrack to many of. Like yo, young sexual experience, right? Because twelve play is when we were still on the phone setting the soundtrack in the back. Yeah, yeah, that's when you, you talk to the chick on that's, the phone. See, you don't know nothing about see, that, right? Like you call a chick on the like phone, phone right? You used to see Jeez. when you had a house phone. Yeah, you you put the music on in right, the back. Right, you put the music on in the back, right? So you got like twelve play playing in the back, and then you call the chick, and she be like, "Oh, what you? Oh, you playing twelve? Yeah, I was thinking." So then, you know, you just, you just said, but that's real it. shit, right? right? No, we used to do that shit. It's like, yo, niggas be on the phone for three hours and be like, all right, girl, I'm gonna see you tomorrow. 
Yes. Yeah. <laughs> or you be like, yo. Hey, turn it off, yo. Or your mama come in and fuck it up. Like, or you be <laughs> like, yo. Can you, yo, is your parents allowed? Is, where are your parents at, yo? Because I could sneak out and just, you know, jump mm-hmm. on the bicycle and mm, try to get over it. Climb up the right. right. side of your wild. Right. Can I, you, know, you said your mother work at night, right? So you, your father ain't there? Okay. So I just slide over. I'll be gone before she, nobody even know. Put my bike in the bushes. <laughs> and then come in the house and that was like, like and yo that was like before was Instagram like, right, that that's, that's like how it was before, before Instagram I put my bike like in the bushes right like little kids be like what you mean your bike like your bike was your car nigga and R. Kelly was, was the, like the soundtrack. the soundtrack to that shit like finger banging and shit that's R. R. Kelly, Kelly. <laughs> that's pretty dope. You think about a finger banging R. Kelly song playing in the background. You grind it on a chick at the club. Right. Last song that played right. the club. Right. Right. R. Kelly shit. Right. Put a nickel on the needle. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a uh, slow, slow jam. jam. Yeah. Right. They play a slow jam. It's the last two songs. So one of them slow jams. So you grind it on a chick like that. Get her number. Get her pager number in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? That's R. Kelly. So, I mean, so... What I'm saying is, is it is it the point where if he comes on the radio, am I going to turn it off? No. No. But am I going to get in my car and be like, man, I just really want to hear some R. Kelly today? I might. No. I, I might. might. I, would. I mean, I might. I might. Because just it the does think it, and, and my mind like, would race too much. Unless I'm listening to I Believe I Could Fly or some shit it's that just, has it's nothing to do with the same guy. guy. Correct. But the lyrics are but he's, he's the same guy who was filming on that little thirteen-year-old girl. Like, I believe, I right, right. I believe I can fly. He thinking about that. He he's singing that right. Thinking about this little naked chick in the bed at a sex ranch rumpus room. I didn't say I would put that song on. I'm just no, that's saying, what I'm saying. That's like, one that I, I I think if if I it came on, I it would. You got to harder, know, you gotta either, harder to, to 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 put to cross me, the dots. To, to me, it's either you on one side or line. the other. You know what I'm saying? Either you gonna fuck with the like to me, like you said, Jace, you can separate it. Like playing his Our music, music is great fucking music. Playing his music doesn't mean like I support you having. Sex slaves, or but your you music is about sex. That's what a lot of your music is about having, yeah. and that's where it gets muddy for me. It's harder for me to determine if you're talking, if you're saying your mind is telling you no, but your body is telling you yes. That sounds like a pedophile in my book. I'm sorry. Now that I know you like kids, it sounds like you you know you shouldn't be fucking with this 15 year old, but your body just can't help it. But like, you know what? That's I mean, fucking. Now look, but it's 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 great harder. Right, right, right. right. But already talking about but, sex. It makes it but, hard for me to be like, nah, he's but, not. He right, like kids. right. It can also be interpreted as, well, I don't know if she doesn't want to fuck. She's saying no, but let's just see how far we can press this envelope. Mm. Where that? It can be interpreted as that, can't it? That's right. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, fuck, right? Fuck, Rod. You've been with Rose too long, man. <laughs> You've been with your chick too long. That's not rape, but this shit. is rape, like yo. I, I, I agree. It can be interpreted in right. many different ways, but it's interp. That's that's. See, that's the thing about America. America. Like you, see, that's how we. You I mean, can interpret things on your own. In my opinion, I don't like. Like people, in my opinion, think too much of celebrities. Like, in my opinion, celebrities are people, too. So, yeah, they're able to be, you know, that excellent artists. Right. They're able to be artists. But, is R. Kelly in jail for, pet, like, being a pedophile? Like, no, is, is, wait, hold on. So, and I thought, because this is America, right? <laughs> this is America. You're not guilty. America. You know, you're innocent until you prove proven guilty. So, yes. He's been alleged a pedophile. Alleged. So until he goes through our flawless justice system and goes under and is judged by 12 of his peers, we don't know if he's a pedophile. It's just alleged. So until, in my opinion, until the book is out that this guy is a alleged pedophile, until he's a certified pedophile, convicted, convicted play with children, tamper with babies, Tamper with babies. I think. Wow. Wow. 
Because that's what it is. Wow. You tamper with some kids. You tamper with them. Tamper with <laughs> No. I was thinking he was going to say tampering with evidence. No, you he didn't. said tampering. And he did this. That makes it <laughs> even worse. Right. This is tampering with babies. That's <laughs> what Jesus it is. Christ. That's what it is. This motherfucker is hilarious. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> what do you guys call it? Like, there's so many different names. Uh, he but changed the diaper the wrong way. Right. No. Like, <laughs> oh the, my God. Okay, like, that would never let R. Kelly hang out with my daughter. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and, I, and it's funny you said that because that would be my <laughs> issue. Like, one of the chicks allegedly, uh, allegedly, came, I said allegedly, okay, came into the the rumpus room <laughs> as a minor. Like, she came in. You know what I'm saying? Like, she started. She she was 17. She, said she started as a minor. She came in. She at, started in the rumpus. She came in at 17. In the rumpus. Like, at the same time, though, she wasn't living there. She was right. just working for oh. him every day, and oh. she'd go home. Right. And then as she got older, she, she just, went back and right. decided she was going to move in with him. But he tampered with that baby. <laughs> he tampered. In the rumpus room. Right. All right, so look. So the news about R. Kelly. Okay. With them babies. First and foremost, the brat has came to his defense. Now, Spotify. What brand? His I said brand? the brat. Oh, oh, the oh. Spotify. Spot, oh, oh, the brand. Spotify oh, the brand has spoken out, so let's definitely listen. listen Spotify has taken a lot of his stuff. Spotify taking all his music off their playlist. Oh shit! But oh, brat was on the Ricky Smiley show today, as well as a few other, um, a few other young ladies have spoken out, who have. Uh, you know, who who know R. Kelly personally and who have been rocking with R. Kelly for years personally, who say that, um, you know, first and foremost, he's never done anything to them, never showed any type of, you know, type of sexual or pedophilia type shit towards them. But what they were saying, and they're women, what they were saying was kind of what you were saying where, you know, 17-year-old is working for R. Kelly, whatever, they have to get... She had to get approval from her mother. Correct. And which she did. She did, correct. Her you know mother wasn't happy, but at the end of the day, she was coming home every single night, every single day she would come home. Exactly. And it didn't become a problem until different. she hit like 21. But it's not even a problem. She just wanted to move in. Because and then that's when her mom was like, wait a minute, what's going on? So well, her, mom was, her mom might have said, wait a minute, what's going on? But she let her move in. Right. She right. couldn't stop her. Yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, she's yeah, the Exactly. Exactly. So... So when we talk about R. Kelly at this point in time, you know, just like a lot of other black celebrities at this point in time seem to be under fire about a lot of different things. But um, well, R. Kelly, like you stated, he has never been convicted of anything, ever. All this stuff is alleged things. Even with this sex ranch or sex cult, whatever the case may be. We, call it a we, don't, know, we don't know what it is. It just sounds like a house full of hoes to me. Like he didn't put up some broads and... They, he taking care of them, and you know they his women. Whether you want to call it him being a Mormon or whatever, it is what it is. They're all adults. They're 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 all adults. They're all they're it's it they're all, it's all consensual. So at this point in time, I'm not saying it's not all. I'm at this point in time, you you at this point in time, you really gotta you really gotta wait for the facts now. Because uh, you can't, you can't, you can't really be like, yo, I ain't fuck with R. Kelly no more because he's a sexual deviant. Well, I mean, I other with R. Kelly when the video came that's out. All right, now if you, now if you want to go, now if you want to go with that, then that's on you. That's that's what that's that's when I was like, okay. But she even in that, minor. even in that, he gave her some money. He didn't know she was a minor, which I'll give it to him. He didn't know. And he gave her some money. He did, yeah, he paid the case. And it depends. Like no, no, that. no. He hold gave on. her some money on the video, hold like on. to do it. You never, you don't, you never seen that part of the video. I mean, I was, hold on. I don't think I've I would just like to say this. Yes, was, he pays. I would, I would just like to say he this. He gives her I money. He gives her money. It, so. I would just like to. He say, gives her money in the video, bro. I would just like to oh, say R. Kelly did marry Aaliyah. And the, and the state that it was legal, and Leah's parents said it was okay. You see what I'm saying? So these are all things that we're bringing on him because he liked the Leah or because he was so called in love with the Leah. But if her parents say it's okay, she's in love with him too. You can go do what you want to do. Weird though. Like you're Once again, years old. we all we all were born and raised differently. He has money to do things that we can't do. He has money to provide things for people that we can't provide. So. In my opinion, you taking a, a Leah who didn't maybe probably wasn't shit until she met the right people who put her in contact with R. Kelly to take her to the next to the next whatever. So you wife You know what I mean? No, wife. he just I mean, once again, he might have liked her, whatever the case may be. I don't think it was out of oh she young, I wanna wife this young chick. Obviously I he had some exactly No, he had some type of he had some 
Wait a minute, listen. I, but he doesn't have attachment to it. R. Kelly could have had any woman in the world he had wanted. But he wanted to leave. He still can't. He wanted to leave. He wanted a minor. That's not weird. Well, you saying he wanted a minor. It depends on what state you're in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, all this shit is all... He wanted a girl half his age. Or she was men, not men half his age. Men, so men like, date women half their ages all the not fucking when it's time, the, bro. Not when it's on the age of being legal or illegal. Like, they wait until they're at least 18 or there's no questions asked. We the don't, fact that you have to be in a state where, like... Shit, the legal age around here is 16. She's cool. <laughs> that's weird. That's weird. That's, that's, that's not normal. That's the law. It's still So weird. you can call it weird if you want to. It's the law. You know what I'm saying? So if he's in a certain state, right. no. he can marry us. Hey, Al, I agree right. with you on most right. things. Look, that's the law. You can't. I can't change that. In certain I'm states, he can get married things, at 16. At some, at some states, like, you can get married at fucking 13, 14, yeah, bro. Yeah, you can. Like, but... That's still if weird. You're 14 and you just marry because it's 30, listen, bro, okay, listen, doesn't mean I'm not it's saying right. it's not weird. Okay, it's not right. but you can't say it ain't right because there's going to be individuals out there who pass so that law, law who right say then. it's right. So that's what you're saying. Every law. Oh is hell right. no! I can never say that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We we all know that. But once again, because there are laws and it can be done, you can't really get mad at R. Kelly. That's what I'm saying. Okay, you mad at I'm him because you're saying mentally saying something's that not right in his mind that he's attracted to a kid where he has to make sure. She wasn't. You act like she was right. ten fucking years old. He has to make sure that he. How old was R. Kelly when he married? Uh, how old was R. Kelly when he married uh, Aaliyah? She was what seventeen. How old was 15? he? Fifteen. She was fifteen when he married her. Yes, that's how not old? legal in any state. I don't know she about was 15. that. That's not legal in any state. I can Listen, right it's now. obviously it was legal because so he fucking the, did it. Just gave the permission. That's okay, then. So therefore, it became now, legal. Once she, permission. once the parents say yes, you can marry my daughter, it becomes legal. <laughs> so it was legal. That's, That's what I'm saying. So we're putting him under the fire, and he ain't been convicted of shit. Everything that he's done has been within within children. the law. Look at Harvey Weinstein and all these other white motherfuckers out here raping and doing all type of and other shit. They're just None of them. Up. They're not getting muted. Their businesses aren't stopping. Are we're not taking money out their fucking pockets. Matt Lauer lost his fucking billion dollar contract because he whipped his. Matt Lauer. Matt Lauer is one out of a thousand out of a fucking million, bro. And Harvey Weinstein and all of these people who have been, all these guys. They're still men, eating. They're still eating. They're bro. still making money off these businesses and everything, and so bro. Kelly. What was his name? Just because we want to mute him doesn't mean he's been muted. What I'm saying is they're, they're trying to mute him and he's never been convicted of anything. That's all I'm saying. None of them have. People are muting. They all lose their shit. You're muting people. We're muting people because of allegations that we don't even know the fucking... Specifics of the facts of, and I would hate to be that person in that position that I'm being judged by people who don't even have. He married Aaliyah at 15, legal, however you want to put it. He he legally married a girl, and to you, that's weird. And then, but to some people, it may not be weird. Then he had sex with a chick who was also 15, right? He paid her, he has a shitty track record. You mean to tell me that you're attracted to a 15 year old girl right now? That's okay if you've met her parents. As a grown ass man, that's okay, right? My morals and values are different than R. Kelly's, okay? I was uh, raised. So I was raised weird. different than R. Kelly so was. So no, and plus I, I have a fourteen I have a fourteen year old daughter. So no, I wouldn't be attracted to a fourteen year old. But if somebody was to come to me and say, Hey, I want to marry your fourteen year old daughter, can I? I would say no. You understand what I'm saying? So I mean, regardless not- of fuck we, we we coming down on R. Kelly, but shit, if her parents said it was okay. And Aaliyah, obviously, I'm quite sure if Aaliyah didn't want to do it, and she was like, "Ma, I don't, I don't want to marry R. Kelly. Fuck that. Fuck him. I don't want to be with him." I'm quite sure she wanted, to, she wanted to sign them papers. But if Aaliyah's saying, "Yeah, I love him," even though she's young and naive, of course, yeah, I want to be with him. I want to whoop, 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 nigga. She, they, but she gone. Parent, why would you even trust that call? Once again, I'm not her parents. You know what I'm saying? I'm well, not her parents. And then, call. and then at the same time, like I said, man, people are in positions hold on, hold to on, do hold shit hold on, hold on, for money. At the end of the day, though. Is it weird that R. Kelly fucks with kids? Like, is even attracted, even if he's not touching them. The fact that you are attracted to someone who you have to question, I don't are they of age? I don't care if it's the it's law weird. in that it's state weird. that you I can agree. marry. A Listen, I'm gonna tell you something. It's fucking Look, I'm gonna I'm give you. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a prime example of just not even know R. Kelly. Just, just the mentality of some of some. Just the mentality of a man. Sometimes. Now, sometimes I could be out. And I'll be out with Jay and some other people or whatever. 
And I may see a female and be like, God damn, man, she look all right. And they'll be like, man, she young, man, she... Nigga, how are you looking at her? She young. And what is your now, once again, I don't know. If she, I don't know how fucking old she is. You're right. But you know what I'm saying? Do you even try and find out, or do you just go? No, nah, I just be no. But the only reason, moving, right? the only reason I do that is because I'm with my niggas. If I went with my niggas, I probably would be like. Oh, and if she said I'm 15, then I'd be like, oh shit, you too young exactly. for me, baby. The fact you know what that I'm saying? he was like, well, let me talk to your parents. <laughs> it's fucking <laughs> weird, bro. That shit is fucking disgusting. Hey, I don't know how you don't that's see just me. it. But what I'm saying is. I'm not saying I don't <laughs> see that. I do see it. Where your daddy at? Let me yeah, let me talk you. to your mom and dad real quick. Oh, you 15? Right, I see it, but what I'm saying is you got to look at both sides of the fence. You can't just blame it all on R. Kelly. You blame the, it all on R. Kelly because you, you're you saying he was... I bet you money had a You must be saying he's a sick... Saying, yeah, go You're trying it. to say he's a sick pervert because he wants... That's basically what you're saying. He's a sick perverted guy because he wants to have sex with young women. I'm saying that he's attracted to young women. I think it's, it's disturbing when he could have any woman in the world, no matter... He has had old bitches. He had old bitches and young bitches. Best believe. A whole bunch of them. So why even why even deal with ones that are gonna put you in a situation, or or even fuck with the ones who are about to turn eighteen? Like she's seventeen, but she'll be eighteen in a couple months. So I'll just go have her under my wing until she turns eight. Like that's just once again, not we would have to ask R. Kelly, but I'm quite sure he has a uh, an explanation for all of this. If we was to sit down and ask him about the women that he well, dates. Did, did you see the interview that he had with Torrey back when they when they asked him like? Uh, so is it? Is it? True he said, that "Define you, a minor." Yeah, he said, "Is it true that you mess with teenage women?" He was like, "Define what, teenage. What, what What's a teenager? teenager?" Yeah, and the guy said, uh, uh, "18 or younger." He was like, "Well, I mean, uh, I've messed with women that are 18. I've messed with women 19, 17." I was like, "Bro, that's not. Why even dip in the teens? Like, is it dip? Your you know what, what are you doing with a 19 year old? Like, you can't go to the bar." You know what I'm saying? You guys can't go out and drink. You you can't. She can't get. She could probably get into some clubs that are 18, 18 for the yeah. girls. But then you're gonna feel old as fuck. Like, what are you really gonna do with a 19 year old or 18? Like, I just I'm not attracted to. Look, Woody to Allen. How, how old was the per, How old was the uh, chick Woody Allen married? Did he marry like his sister or some he shit like his, that? Uh, daughter. He his married his daughter. daughter. And how old That's was she? Up. How old was she when they got married? Well, young. I mean, it doesn't matter if she was thirty or five. <laughs> but I'm just saying. Disgusting. That's some now that man, when we talk about Roman that, that's Polanski some sick left shit. The country to marry Roman Polanski. To, you know, he's a great director, right? He yeah. Left the country to marry a fourteen year old. So Jerry Lee Lewis, the great rock and roll star, married his fourteen year old cousin. So yes, it's disgusting whether you're <laughs> white or black. I just, I just, I just asked about it though. I just, had, I just had to ask that question. Because Woody, I knew Woody Allen had did some shit. But what I'm saying is, they weren't muting Woody Allen. It wasn't a Woody Allen. Woody Allen is still making money off of everything that Woody Allen has right, ever produced. Right, that was Woody makes money. That's what like, that was. Like, I just told you they took his shit off Spotify. Hold on, I mean, how much was he really wait, making off Spotify? Wait, though? A lot. What do you mean? Spotify wait. paid. I'm sure that was a desperate time. Pay, I, I doubt he's like, man, I lost his Spotify contract. We can't go out tonight. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm not. He's not gonna say that because I'm he has sure he's okay. still niggas watching, uh, talking in the closet. Whatever the fuck that shit is. I'm so sure no. the niggas just fine. Like it didn't even like. Oh, they cut me off. But there, but yeah, once well, again, don't you can't say that that's not affecting his money because well, it but, is gonna affect well, his money. It will, but I don't yeah. think he's gonna be let's fucked this, up because of it either. Though let's save some. Let's save some of this for the next episode. He's fucked up. Let's save some of this for the next episode. Let's let's wrap this up. Let's get some final thoughts. We even go get final thoughts from producer Al, who's off camera. Producer Al, would you like to give final? Nah, thoughts? man, I'm cool. You I just good? had to, I just had to jump in on that, man. Because y'all was, y'all was no, bashing no R. Thoughts. Kelly. Y'all was bashing R. Kelly. And don't get me wrong. I'm no. I fuck with R. Kelly, but you know what I'm saying. I was. Hold on, this is final thought. No, I was fuck, I fuck with R. Kelly, so you know, I was just saying, I was just wanted to bring up that, it, that there are women out there who are saying like, yo, who are speaking up against it. So, I mean, that's something that I didn't really even expect to happen. But there's actually women who are like, yo, fuck this new R. Kelly shit. R. Kelly is, you know what I'm saying, he cool. Like, I don't, we don't know about all the allegations. Because, once again, they're all fucking allegations. Did you see what Idris Alba said about um, Bill Cosby? No, Akon. Did you see what Akon said about Bill Cosby? No. He said, he said I don't believe it. And, you know, and none of us will ever know the truth. And that's the truth. Even though 
all this shit is happening in the media, and he even got a case and everything, because we know all this shit could be fabricated. Everything could be fabricated, all the way down to us going to court and getting fake cases and all that shit. We don't, we'll never know the truth about this shit for real, because all we're getting is the shit from media outlets, whether it be negative media outlets or positive media outlets. You know what I'm saying? So, what Akon said, in my opinion, was, was truth, because we'll never know about a lot of this shit that we discuss and talk about, especially when it comes to breaking people down and talking about what they done bad and what they've done wrong. All right. So, that was producer Al's final thought. Rod, go ahead with your final thought. I think he likes kids. Like, I think it's his track record of it. I mean, shit, allegations or not, you got the same allegations for 20 years and different instances in 20 years, and we could go all the way back to the 20 years beginning. Like you said, he married a minor, whether her parents were down or not. I think it's just something doesn't connect when you. That's what you go for. So, James, and I don't disagree with what you're saying, but I'm going to continue to listen. All right, Kelly. I'm not going. If something new came out, I don't think I would be like. Damn, I wouldn't check. I wouldn't check for no new shit. But, but I got so many classes. If something came on, I don't think I would be like. I can't listen to him. But I'm, too many I'm, classes. I'm not shit. gonna put him on my. We gotta put fucking. We got tons of shit. All right. Well, that's that on the hashtag. Mute R. Kelly. Looks like this one's gonna, I guess, just hang in the air and be up for discussion. I guess people are gonna still be secretly bumping 12 Yo, and others are gonna, Right, and other people are gonna be, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, boycotting them. But nonetheless. So I'm, what are you gonna do, sir? Well, like I said, I'm gonna have to stay right here as the host and continue to be the smartest of all, the smart Alex. So, with that being said, I want to thank everybody for tuning in this week. Would you guys like to hit your Instagrams one more time? Rod. KOG Rod. Do it with the beard. Handsome J30. Handsome John35. Thank you guys for tuning in. Like I always say, leave us some comments. Tell us what you liked, what you didn't like. Tell us what you want us to talk about. If you guys want us to do anything, let us know. And once again, I'm John, smartest of all the smart Alex. Everybody else on this panel most likely is not as far as me. Thank you for tuning in. You guys have a great week.